Well, boys, looks like we got us a Samoan sandwich. <laughs> Two tons of dark meat jammed between a stack of tortillas and a loaf of white bread. <laughs> Appreciate the help, brother. Anytime, amigo. When Sons of Anarchy ended, it was hard to know if we'd ever love a ragtag group of murderous outlaws on motorcycles ever again. Thankfully, Mayans MC has arrived to fill that Charlie Hunnam-shaped hole in our hearts. Chrissy Hayner here, and we are going to get obsessive about the connections between Mayans MC and Sons of Anarchy. Warning, if you haven't seen Sons of Anarchy yet, there are major spoilers ahead, but the show's been over for four years, so this is really your fault. First though, make sure you're subscribed to GameSpot Universe for your TV breakdowns, movie reviews, comic book deep dives, and more. Also, by subscribing, you can enter to win this month's giveaway, a Guardians of the Galaxy Drax and Groot statue from our friends at fun.com. Click the link in the description below. Mayans MC has launched its first season on FX and follows the Santo Padre chapter of the Mayans Motorcycle Club on the border between California and Mexico, four years after the death of Jax Teller on Sons of Anarchy. It's steeped in vicious drug cartel crimes, twists, turns, a love triangle, and of course, very loud motorcycles. One of the coolest things though is all of the ways this show connects to Sons of Anarchy, and those connections go all the way back to the Sons pilot episode. The founder of the Mayans Club is Marcus Alvarez, who appears in the Mayans MC premiere and will play a major role in the show, both as El Padrino and the cousin of Santo Padre president Bishop. As Sons of Anarchy fans know though, Alvarez is not new to this world. In fact, the character first appeared in the Sons of Anarchy pilot. Of all the rival clubs Sam Crow dealt with throughout seven seasons, none were more consistent than Marcus and the Oakland Mayans crew. Alvarez shifted back and forth between ally and enemy of the Suns regularly, appearing in a total of 31 of the show's 93 episodes. Mayans and Suns, that's some real Arab Jew shit. We got a little history, but why don't we talk about the present? Of course, he's not the only familiar face to pop up on Mayans. In the premiere episode alone, two very important characters appeared. First and foremost, Les Packer, president of the Sons of Anarchy San Bernardino chapter, arrived to help the Mayans dispatch of some foes. Packer was first seen in season six of Sons of Anarchy and appeared once more in the penultimate episode when he and the other Sons presidents demanded Sam Crow take a vote on whether to kill Jax. This is important because one of Jax's final acts as Sam Crow president before, spoilers everyone, killing himself was to make peace with the Mayans. If Sam Dino is helping out the Santo Padre crew now, clearly things between the two clubs are still friendly. The pilot episode also saw a quick appearance by biker queen Gemma Teller Morrow. Yes, she's very dead in this world. However, Mayans MC is making liberal use of flashbacks that could lead to some fun moments like this one. Eight years ago, before EZ was a prospect in the Mayans MC, he was in jail for killing a cop. However, it's made very clear that not everything is as it seems, and that's a story that's gonna to continue to unfold throughout the season. When his girlfriend Emily comes to visit him at Stockton State Prison, a visit that does not end well, Gemma is seen in the background of the waiting room. In fact, when Easy and Emily end up loudly arguing, Gemma responds in the most Gemma way possible. Emily! Assholes. Where in the timeline is this moment set? If you do a little research and math, you can figure out this particular moment in Easy's life is set between seasons three and four of Sons of Anarchy. At this point, a large chunk of Sam Crow, including Jax, was locked up in that very same prison. Naturally, Gemma must have been there to visit one of them. That said, co-creator Kurt Sutter has said this cameo is part of some sort of larger story that will unfold, so chances are viewers are going to see more Sons of Anarchy characters in these flashbacks as we learn more about Easy's past. So far, we've seen one more Sons of Anarchy character make his way to Mayans, and this is an exciting one. Chucky Marstein, the two-fingered compulsive masturbator that somehow became one of Sam Crow's biggest allies, has moved south. In episode two of Mayans, he's seen in the office of the scrapyard the club works at, essentially showing that he's now filling the same role for them that he did for Sam Crow. It really makes you wonder what became of the Sun's mother charter after the series finale and who of that crew is actually still alive. It's not just characters that are connecting Mayans MC and Sons of Anarchy though. There's one particular organization that's making things very difficult for both clubs. The premiere of Mayans introduced Miguel Galindo, son of Jose Galindo, the founder of the Galindo Cartel. These days, Miguel seems to be calling the shots, but the Galindos are no stranger to Sons of Anarchy fans. 
Sam Crow did plenty of business with the Galindo cartel starting in season four. Jose was never seen other than in a photo, but numerous members of his organization spent a lot of time around Charming making life difficult for the Sons, especially when it was revealed that some of its members were actually undercover CIA agents. The show's a lot to deal with. You had no choice but to play your CIA card. Gave you leverage, kept us in line. But it also gave me a big stick. Obviously, Sutter and his co-creator Elgin James are taking great care to tie this show to Sons of Anarchy in any way that they can that makes sense. And honestly, we love it. Here's hoping the connections continue as Mayans MC goes on. What do you think of Mayans MC so far, and what other Sons of Anarchy characters would you like to see stop by? Let us know in the comments below and hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Chris Hayner. And also, don't forget, seriously, enter the contest down below. You, you want that statue.